What's up everybody, we're back on Conan Exiles today, and you've all heard that it's better to loot a dead body with your hatchet than it is your sword. Um, and you may have heard that you get different things with a pickaxe rather than a hatchet, like you'll get more bones or more hide, depending on which one you use. And I don't really know if that's true, so we're going to test it out, and see if it has any merit behind it so over here I have this uh, well something's aggroed on me anyways I have this room here I call it my test kitchen welcome it's just a room without a ceiling and <clears throat> let's let's go into a detail about how I am gonna go about testing this today so I'm going to kill 50 gazelle and I'm going to loot them all using different weapons. Gonna test the pickaxe, a sword, and a hatchet. Uh, and we're gonna see what type of results we get. So at first I was killing them um, just out in the open here naturally and I noticed that you you would get extra meat sometimes on that last hit there I can see I gotta hide and I was using my sword but if I wanted to be testing the hatchet that's really not good for for the results so uh, what I ended up doing was killing them with the tool I wanted to harvest them with so I was doing that and the results were accurate but it was taking so long so I realized finally thought of the idea don't know why I didn't to begin with, uh, I can just spawn things in here, spawn creatures. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want them to run around, so I built this little uh, room here to keep them to stay. And that worked. I could I could spawn them here. See, I'll spawn a a crocodile. So that's what I ended up doing, but it really wasn't the best way either because I could have also um, set them to be passive and then they wouldn't run around when I'm hitting them. It would have been a little bit faster than what I did, but I ended up doing that and it worked out fine, honestly. Okay, so I've got 50 Gazette kills uh, with the hatchet, the pickaxe, and the sword. And the results are in this chest. Uh, I got a lot of meat here, some of it's spoiled, you can see the results. Okay, so here you have a graph of the results I have, and the red represents the meat, the white represents the bone, and the brown represents the hide. So on the y-axis you have the sword, the pick, the hatchet, and on the x you have the amount of uh, resource I collected. Now with the sword you can clearly see that it gets way less resources when you're harvesting. With the pick and the hatchet, it doesn't really seem like there's much of a difference. I would attribute the less meat on the pick and the less bone on the hatchet just to um, the smaller sample size. I would say that you'd probably get around the same amount if you really took the time to like I don't know, kill a thousand of these things or something. I think they would get closer and closer. But I don't know. If you want to be safe with it, if you want to get the most meat, I guess, um, go with the hatchet. It does seem like there's a bit more, but overall, it doesn't seem like too big of a difference between the pick and the hatchet. So, But definitely don't use a sword when you're collecting the resources. That myth is correct and you should really follow that advice. But as for the pick and hatchet, you can see you get a little bit more meat with that. Um, I think if you increase the sample size, they'll, the numbers will start getting closer and closer, but if you want to be on the safe side, you can go with the hatchet and uh, really just your choice. All right, so make sure you leave a like if this helped you, if this answered your questions. Please subscribe for more videos like this. I got some cool ideas coming out. Suggest some in the comments if you want to. But that's all for today, guys.
I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.